Factory. Well, let's cross live now to Bera in Mozambique. We're going to speak to correspondent Andrea Mbambia, who joins us from there. Andrea, and the rescue operation very much still uh, swinging into action there. Uh, yes, hi. Actually, more than ever, I'm uh, currently at the operations center that's been based at Beira's airport, uh, where the place is packed with humanitarian NGOs, workers, Mozambique's relief agency. Uh, the president of Mozambique, Philip Nussi, actually just gave a tour of a facility a few minutes ago. Uh, so the rescuers have received much needed helicopters yesterday with the arrival of two choppers of the South African Defense Force. Uh, they were able to save about 160 people that were stranded uh, by the flooding uh, 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 kilometers from here, but uh, they were only able to, to, to pick up the, the women and the children for now, so a lot of people uh, is still remaining over there. And what are the main fears now, Andrea? I mean, presumably as the waters start to descend, disease is one of those fears? Uh, actually, before the, the disease, the main fear is actually that more flooding happens uh, because of, of the rain uh, caused by uh, the, the, the cyclone Edai. There's been a lot of, uh, uh, of rain uh, in coming and a lot of water, sorry, coming from Zimbabwe. And, and there's actually two rivers, one on the south of Beira and another one on, on uh, the, the north of Beira are about uh, to, to, to have... Uh, wave of water. The, the dams have reached their, their alert limit. They are reaching uh, their, their full capacity, which means uh, the dams will need to, to uh, discharge some water at some point. The, this, it's been announced a few times already. And according to how this happens, that, that could uh, cause more flooding and more devastation and more deaths. Andrian, thanks very much. Andrian Barrier, our correspondent, joining us live there from Berra.